Hi there and welcome to Travel Tart TV and I've got Hayden Crin who's a MasterChef Australia finalist for 2011 but um, I'm chatting to him about the 2011 Crave Sydney International Food Festival and that's you know I'm basically uh, stuffing myself silly full of food <laughs> but um, you know Hayden did, did all right he did, did very well he's got a few I think he's got a good career from um, in, in food ahead of him but uh, how's things at Crave at the moment? Yeah, it's, well, it's been an amazing morning. We're down here on Bondi Beach and what a spectacular place. Lots of people around having some interesting and varied and different food. I've got a, an Indian uh, dish here that's been stuffed into a roll, which is quite oh, cool. tasty. And I think it's, it's kind of strange because as soon as you become involved in food, everyone wants to throw food in your hand and make it eat it. And I think both Bill and myself are uh, quite full from the experience, but it's been amazing. Excellent. So, I mean, Look, just for people who don't may not know you, look, there's a few viewers from the US and all that kind of stuff. You actually were you did some work as a lifeguard lifeguard in the US. Is that yeah, right? um, yeah. My in my previous life, I was a yeah, professional lifeguard, so I worked on the northern beaches of Sydney. But in the summer, we work only seven months of the year, so we get five months off. And in that five months, uh, a lot of the time, I travel to the US and definitely worked in Long Beach Island, New Jersey, so just south of New York, okay. beautiful part of town. So, so you yeah. never did you actually? Did you ever get the opportunity to meet the Hoff at all? Or? No, I never got to meet the Hoff. <laughs> that'd be an interesting sort of uh, interesting moment, but uh, no, I never got to meet him. That's right. I just just wanted to confirm if his chest hair is real or not. That, that's uh, all right, mate. I think his chest hair would be real, <laughs> <laughs> or transplanted one or the other. Who knows? Okay. I mean, look, obviously, food is one of your passions. Um, I've tried a lot of weird stuff like uh, you know tea with egg and cow's nose with peanut sauce, which is a bit you know crunchy and meaty at the same time. Sounds interesting. But what's the most like, you know, the most vile food you taste that it hasn't had you going at both ends for a week? Oh, uh, the vile, most vile, it was actually just happened recently. Yeah. A couple of mates went to their farm and they came back, they'd shot a, a sheep, a mutton, so an old, <laughs> an old sheep, not a lamb. They brought it back, they butchered it and all the rest of it. And they had the, the kidney, it wasn't lamb's kidney, it was sheep's kidney. And we thought, oh, we'll give that a go. I'm like, yeah, they're not bad normally. Cooked it up on the barbecue and ate it and it was the most disgusting thing I'd ever eaten. You could literally taste the urine with every oh. bite. And it didn't make me sick, but it didn't last long in the mouth. I had to spit oh. it straight out. But that time that, um, gives taking the piss a whole new meaning. So. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're taking the piss, the boys there, big time. <laughs> okay, I'll just finish off uh, with a, a, cho a, a choice question. Uh, board shorts or budgie smugglers? Budgie smugglers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looking forward to seeing you wear them soon. All right, thanks for your time, Hayden. Cheers, no worries. Thank you, guys.